That is right. You are listening to the Metro Takeover on 88.7 WSYC, and we're here. I'm Zach Klaus. And the guy to his left, your right, is Matt Trust. Well, Jason uh, will be joining us in just a little bit, but until then, we have uh, a suspension to discuss in the National Hockey League. Jared Bull of the Columbus Blue Jackets has been suspended for three games, and this was released at noon today by uh, courtesy of the National Hockey League Department of Player Safety. Play the video. So, yeah, we're going to look through the video breaking down his three-game suspension. Tuesday night in Columbus, Blue Jackets forward Jared Bull delivered an illegal check to the head of Anaheim forward Patrick Maroon. As the video shows, Maroon and Columbus defenseman Jack Johnson pursue a rebound that has been steered into the corner by Blue Jackets goaltender Sergei Bobrovsky. Maroon collects the puck and is cycling out of the corner with Johnson right behind him as Bull approaches from the faceoff dot. Bull elevates into the hit driving his right shoulder directly into the side of Maroon's head, making it the main point of contact. This is an illegal check to the head. Maroon is in possession of the puck and is eligible to be checked on this play, and Bull neither flares his elbow nor launches excessively into this hit. However, head contact on this play is avoidable. Maroon is playing the puck in a predictable manner. While he is bent over, he does not change direction or change his posture in any significant way throughout the play, nor does he materially change the position of his head just prior to or simultaneous with contact. The onus, therefore, is on Bull to take an angle of approach and deliver the hit in a way that ensures that he hits through the core of Maroon's body so that Maroon's head will not be the main point of contact. Instead, Bull unnecessarily elevates into the hit in a way that results in a direct hit to Maroon's head. While there is subsequent contact with Maroon's shoulder, the main point of contact is the head. To summarize, this was an illegal check to the head. Maroon was shaken up on the play, but remained in the game and completed it. Bull has been suspended once and fined twice during his eight-season NHL career. Both fines were for illegal checks to the head. The Department of Player Safety has suspended Jared Bull for three games. Okay, so let's kind of break that down. Now, obviously, radio is a little hard to show what the hit looked like. So That was a very good interpretation was, of the play, though. A very it was. Good it breakdown. was really good. And what's great about it is player safety has to do this, and they have to analyze it, and then they have to prove to the fans and to everyone that this is what happened and this is why we're penalizing it. So what was the end result of that? Like, how many games suspension? What is the end result? It's a three-game suspension for uh, Jared Bull. And this incident occurred at the 402 mark of the second period against the Anaheim Ducks. And now under the terms of the collective bargaining agreement and based on his average annual salary, Bull will forfeit $27,419.34. The money goes to the Players Emergency Assistant Fund for the National Hockey League. Now, what's interesting about this is when you actually break down some of these players, you can actually break down to the bare game like how much money they're making per game. So if you're making, you know, let's say a rookie salary is about 900k. Right? I believe so, yeah. 900k is like your opening entry salary into the NHL as a rookie. That's absolutely all fine and good. But if you were divi- if you were to actually divide that by 82 games, I'm actually going to do that right here on my calculator and I'm going to divide that by 82 games. That means you're making ten thousand dollars a game just over ten thousand dollars a game now that's just a rookie now let's say you're actually making millions of dollars like an actually like very very talented player a worthwhile player now your ten thousand or eleven thousand dollars per game starts going up so them charging him what was the total amount again so it was uh, about twenty seven and a half thousand so even if he's getting paid a million dollars that's probably a game and a half right there that he has to play just to make up for that so right there, for one hit, to have to play another game or two to make up for that penalty is, I think, fair enough. Did he get any penalty, like any suspension, or was it just a fine? It's, it's a three-game suspension plus the fine. Okay, so he's actually missing out on four, maybe five games. Three games. It's a three-game But it's game a three-game suspension. suspension he's missing out, but then he's not getting paid for two. I, I, one I, or two, no, depending he, on his salary. No, it's three-game suspension without pay, so he— that's the fine. He's he's not getting paid for those three games. But he's not playing them either, 
when you get suspended from a game, you don't get paid and you don't play. Right, suspension without pay, so he's suspended and he doesn't get paid for those three But games. if you're looking at it this way, those that money, that fine he's being charged, yes, he's getting charged it right away, so he has to write a check for, write a check for that. But if you really look at it, he's actually not – he's actually – missing three games and not getting paid for them, and he's playing two games and not getting paid for them. So he's really How missing How is he playing it. two games and not getting paid? Because that would be the amount of money he'd be making in that game. Right. You, you lost me. Okay. <laughs> we'll ignore that. That's Matt. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, whatever. We just <laughs> talked about this. You know, we did? If you have an entry draft of $90,000, right. you make $11,000 a game, just right. under 11000 Correct. So if you were to miss a game, let's say you were suspended. You don't get paid, you don't play the game. Let's say you get fined. If you get fined eleven thousand dollars, how are you making eleven thousand dollars? You're playing a game, so you're basically playing for free when you get fined. All right. Okay. Moving there you on. Go. See, moving on. All right.